Hey everyone, Brandon from the A-Team. Here's a brief overview of what to expect from the Citus Link Bridge. The Citus Link Bridge was made in collaboration with the Citus Link team to create a means of bringing intuitive app control to legacy aperture fixtures that operate on our 2.4 gigahertz RF protocol. By utilizing the same Bluetooth Citus mesh technology found in recent aperture lights, the bridge acts as a 2.4 gigahertz to Bluetooth intermediary wireless transceiver, while also strengthening the integrity and range of your mesh network on set. The bridge can control 2.4 gigahertz fixtures up to 100 meters away and has the same Bluetooth range as other Citus mesh devices, a maximum of 80 meters between devices and 400 meters from your phone. The Citus Link bridge uses two-way Bluetooth communication to connect to a user's mobile device and other Citus mesh fixtures. It then transmits commands to legacy lights such as the Amaran HR672, Tri-8, and the Lightstorm 300D Mark I and 120D Mark II via a 2.4 gigahertz wireless RF protocol. Call. Because this is a transceiver, that means there is no need for any extra dongles or receivers. It talks directly to your phone and your lights. Not only does this allow users to control these lights from their phones, but it also unlocks nine built-in Citus Link lighting effects, as well as access to the Citus Pro FX Picker FX feature set. With a simple and sleek battery-operated design, it will live right at home on any film set and enhance your light control capabilities. Starting from the build of the bridge, its overall design is very minimalistic. It features a sleek body with a footprint that's roughly the same size as an MC, rubber bumpers to protect against impact, and is IP65 dust and waterproof, so it can survive nearly any environment. Moving on to connectivity, the bridge utilizes two standard SMA antennas that you can screw on and off and easily replace. It also features a USB Type-C port that supports PD charging, allowing you to charge it from zero to 100% in as little as 50 minutes with power delivery or 70 minutes with standard five volt two amp charging. Once full, the battery in the Citus Link bridge can last for over 18 hours. Moving on to the control interface, the bridge uses a single button, long press for one second to turn the device on, and three seconds to turn it off. There are four LED indicators to tell you the status of the bridge. Once on, the LEDs will either be orange or white. Orange indicates that the bridge is not connected to a phone or tablet, and white means that it is connected. To activate a Bluetooth reset on the bridge, simply short press the button five times consecutively. This will cause the LEDs to alternate, signifying that the Bluetooth signal has been reset and is searching for a new device. When operating the device normally, the number of LEDs that are illuminated also show you how much battery life is left. All four LEDs means there are 18 or more hours of battery left, three LEDs means there are 12 to 18 hours, two LEDs means six to 12 hours, and one LED means three to six hours. If a single LED is flashing, that means there are less than three hours of battery life remaining and should be charged as soon as possible. When charging, the LEDs will blink according to how full they are in reference to the previous patterns. The last LED pattern that is important to know is when the bridge is being updated. The bridge can receive over-the-air updates using the Citus Link app, and when it's in the update status, four orange LEDs will scroll back and forth. Just make sure that the bridge has at least 20% battery life when updating. And if you have any worries about the LEDs disrupting your scene or not being able to be visible in bright daylight, the Citus Link team thought of that too. In between the antennas, you'll find an adaptive brightness sensor, which tells tells the bridge to increase or decrease the brightness of its LEDs according to the ambient light. Now let's move on to the most important part, app control. After Bluetooth resetting the Citus Link bridge, add the device to your scene like you would any other Citus Mesh compatible device. Press the plus button in the upper right hand corner, tap on the bridge's ID, and connect. Once in the Citus Link app, you'll notice that the interface for the bridge is different from other lights like the 300D Mark II or the MC. This is because it's just sending out command data to the legacy fixtures, and the fixtures can't talk back. These legacy fixtures use channel and group control instead of direct two-way communication. So if I want to control this 120D Mark II that's set to channel one group B, I'll just select that in the app and start controlling the 120D. If I want to control this bicolor HR672C, then I'll just match up the channel and group again and I'm off to the races. In white light mode, you can control one channel and group at a time, just like with the remote. Moving on to the console, the bridge also has a special console design. In this case, you manually populate the sliders for each of the channels and groups that you want to control. For example, since the 120D Mark II is a daylight only light, I'll set the slider to the correct channel and choose daylight. And then I'll choose bicolor for the 672C. Now in console mode, I can control multiple lights more easily without having to switch back and forth between different channels. I can also control the intensity of all the lights at once. And if I need to get rid of any sliders, all I have to do is long press the slider, 
tap on the X. Speaking of controlling all or multiple lights at once, let's hop over to the settings menu. Here you'll see that you can select all 12 possible groups, channels one through three and groups A through D. You can select all the lights, quick select different channels and groups, or select different pairings individually. What these selections allow you to do is to control all the selected lights simultaneously in the All Fixtures console or the main fixtures menu. The Citus team felt that this was important because if you're setting up lights in the next room or location while filming is still happening in another, you don't want the lights to turn on or off to affect the scene that's still shooting, allowing you to have a truly efficient workflow. For example, if I set my settings to channel one and channel three, I can turn off these two lights without turning off any of my key lights, which are set to channel two. The Citus Link Bridge can comfortably control up to 60 fixtures at once and up to 20 fixtures in an individual group. You can go beyond this limit, especially if your fixtures are in a close range, but this is the max suggested number for stable usage. And last but not least, let's talk about effects. While the 120D Mark II has five built-in effects, other 2.4G lights do not. And the Citus Link Bridge has the ability to transmit commands to these lights and activate nine different system effects, as well as custom picker effects. Now, unlike pictures like the MC, which has effects control parameters stored in the device, the Citus Link Bridge tells these fixtures what to do by constantly sending out RF signals. Therefore, the effects controls are tailored in a different way than the typical one through 10 frequency of recent aperture fixtures and allows for more unique control. For example, in Lightning, your frequency setting toggles between different types of storage. Storms. In strobe and pulse, you're actually setting an actual hertz frequency. Depending on your effect, you can either control up to one channel at a time or up to three channels at a time. And in fire, you can actually adjust the actual speed and wind type of the effect. For an effect like fire or cop car, this is especially useful if you gel the lights differently and put each color in a different group. The Citus Link Bridge also brings picker effects to legacy fixtures. The picker effects feature allows you to scan brightness and CCT data using your phone's camera and transmit it to your lights via the bridge creating completely unique effects patterns that can last up to 120 seconds. The Citus Link Bridge can store up to four picker effects patterns at once and can transmit up to one group at a time, just like the standard picker effects feature. This Citus Pro FX function truly allows you to control legacy aperture fixtures in ways never before imaginable. Just know that not all 2.4 gigahertz fixtures will react in the same way, particularly for effects, as they each have different dimming modules. And that's the Citus Link Bridge, a device that breathes new life into legacy products.